Day two of the Alex Jones defamation trial in Connecticut, focusing on the growth of Jones's audience, influence, and revenue following his lies about Sandy Hook. Jurors were back at Waterbury Superior Court to hear more evidence as they determine how much the conspiracy theorist owes several Sandy Hook victims' families and an FBI agent. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter joins us from the courthouse with a wrap of today's testimony. Marissa. Eric, an attorney from Shelton who was personally hired by Alex Jones to be a corporate representative of his company, she was on the stand all day. She was the only one. The plaintiff's attorneys sought to show that the company knew exactly what it was doing, driving traffic to its website with lies about Sandy Hook and in turn making a profit. You know that from December 14, 2012, all the way through the end of January, Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems were repeatedly publishing claims that the shooting was staged, correct? I believe so, yes. Plaintiff's attorney Chris Maddy showed Brittany Paz data indicating a direct increase in InfoWars page views and media dominance following the Sandy Hook massacre and Alex Jones's clips and articles terming it a hoax. Maddy pulled up a kit provided to possible advertisers. It gives the number of visitors to the websites per month, the number of unique visitors per month, the number of 30 million page views per month, right? Yes, that's what it says. Okay. Ms. Paz, isn't this free speech systems using Google Analytics? I don't know how they got those numbers. Paz had said earlier in the day employees told her the company didn't use Google Analytics. Because InfoWars doesn't want this jury to know just how closely it was tracking its audience growth as Alex Jones was saying that Sandy Hook was a lie, right? I don't think that's accurate. The families of Sandy Hook victims and an FBI agent already successfully sued Jones. They say they were harassed by Jones's followers who were given a mission to look into the shooting. You know that Alex Jones does not verify the facts he's putting on the air, right? Uh, if he reads it somewhere, he will just broadcast it elsewhere. So he doesn't do any independent analysis of what it, he's reading he does, elsewhere. Right? That's why right. he tells his audience that he does. Paz said Jones was clear with her he is not a journalist, despite that being on his website. But she admitted his credibility with his audience is central to his ability to make money. Attorney Maddie also went over how Jones has made millions, basically by getting people to his website and then getting them to purchase products that he's selling based off of his conspiracies. Jones is expected to fly in next week to testify here. In Waterbury, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.